This video shows how to change the baud rate in a Curtis Integrated Toolkit project. In this video, we'll refer to the toolkit by its acronym, CIT. Curtis CAN devices have parameters that store the device's baud rates. A CIT project also stores the project's baud rate as a project property, which is shown in the status bar. For this project, the baud rate is currently 125K. To change the baud rate, you use the programmer application to change the device's baud rate parameters. After you've changed the parameters, you then change the project's baud rate. Do not change the project property before changing the parameters. We'll change the baud rate to 250K. Here's how. Start by connecting CIT to the CAN bus. How you open the programmer application depends upon whether you need to change baud rate parameters for multiple devices or just one device. To change one device's baud rate, select its device node. For example, if I only needed to change the motor controller's baud rate, I'd select its device node. To change multiple devices baud rate parameters, you'll probably prefer to select the project system node. This will show the menus for all the project's devices. Since we're changing two devices' baud rate parameters, I'll select the system node. Open Programmer. Note how menus for both devices are visible. Find the parameter that specifies the first device's baud rate. I'm going to change that to 250K. Now we'll find the second device's baud rate parameter. I'll change the value to 1, which is how the device's baud rate parameter indicates a 250K baud rate. Go to Launchpad. In the status bar, click the baud rate, then select the new baud rate, 250K in this case. Note how the device nodes are both displaying red lights. This indicates the devices are no longer connected. Cycle the vehicle system's key switch. The device nodes are now displaying green lights, indicating the devices are connected again. Save the project so that the baud rate specified as a project property persists. Note that saving applies only to the project property. The parameter values are stored on the devices, not in the project. That's all you need to do to change a CIT project's baud rate. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.